Then the law continues. Now, whoever disputes with you, O prophet, concerning Jesus, after full knowledge has come to you, say, Come, let us gather our children and your children, our women and your women, ourselves and yourselves. Then let us sincerely invoke a lost curse upon the liars. Certainly this is the true narrative, and there is no God worthy of worship except the one God. And indeed, God alone is the Almighty, the All-Wise. If they turn away, then surely God is perfect. Then surely Allah has perfect knowledge of the corruptors. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was told by Allah. He said, say to the people, after we give you the true narrative of Jesus, right? We say, man, he's not a God. He's not three in one, right? He's like Adam, right? But Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and tell them, but if you still want to dispute with me about this, call all of your family members. I'm going to call my family members, right? I'm going to call myself. You call yourselves, and let's all get together and sincerely make an oath of Allah to uh, ask Allah, Allah to curse the one that's lying. We're told in the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a delegation came from Yemen. There were some Christians who came from Yemen, and they wanted to dispute with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, with the to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So they wanted to talk to him about Jesus. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told the reality of Jesus. They said, well, Jesus is this, Jesus is that, right? And so the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because Allah told him, he said, well, look, I'm going to call all my family members. I'm going to call Ali, I'm going to call Fatima, I'm going to call Hassan, I'm going to call Hussein, right? I'm going to call Aisha, I'm going to call all my family members. And you call all your family members, call all your women and whatnot, and let's all invoke the curse of Allah, right, on the liar, right? So the, so the Christians, they said, well, hold on, man, let's, let's have a hold on. So they had a meeting, they said, man, look, man, because if he's telling the truth, we're going to die. Right? But if he is to tell them the truth, you know what I'm saying, he's the prophet. Right? So they said that they didn't do the oath. They didn't do the oath. They did some type of treaty with the prophet, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because they knew the truth. They knew the truth. Right? Because Allah said, and come to the understanding that we worship the same God. Right? So the Christians, they know that God is one. We went through all the evidences from the Bible. So a true Christian, if you really read the Bible, the way it's supposed to be read, man, they know there's only one God. Nowhere in the Old Testament, all the way to Matthew, there's nothing in there about three gods. Nothing about the Son of God. None of the prophets before said that. It only came with Paul or Saul, right? The Jew, the Roman Jew, right? Nowhere in the Old Testament. So they knew. They didn't do the oath, right? They didn't do it because they knew that they were going to be the liars and Allah was going to curse them, right? Chapter 5, verse 17. Chapter 5. Chapter 5, verse 17 again, right? A lot of people, they say stuff out their mouth. But when you say, man, let's, 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 put your, let's put your money where your mouth is. Let's call the curse of Allah on the liar. Let's both pray to Allah to curse the one that's lying. They say, oh, we ain't going to do that. Because they know they're lying. We ain't going to do that because they know they're lying. Well, put your money where your mouth is. Put your soul where your mouth is. Because your soul on the line with all this blasphemy that you're saying, oh, Jesus is God. Oh, help me, Jesus. Oh, he's the son of God. You really believe that? You really want to put your soul on that? And you got all of these verses that say he's one? Right? Do not call on any other God. Do not worship any other God. Do not bow down. You really want to put your soul on that? No, you don't. Okay? 